All right, let's talk prospects with our man, Jonathan Mayo, who has it on lock for MLB.com, MLBpipeline.com. Uh, Jonathan, your pipeline crew just recently released MLB's prospect team of the year. Let's start on the mound. Who was the choice? Well, it's a lot of good choices, but for us, it was a, a clear choice in terms of who the best pitcher is, and that's Andrew Painter of the of the Phillies. He was our right-handed starting pitcher on that team and our pitching prospect of the year. Uh, you know, first full season out of high school, three levels, finished in double A. Uh, the numbers are just absolutely ridiculous. I think the thing that stands out the most is he only walked 25 all year in over 100 innings. Mm. His walk rate actually got better as he moved up. He's one of six, only six now, high school pitchers to make it to double A in their first full season uh, after being drafted. Uh, and that's a list that includes guys like Clayton Kershaw and Zach Greinke, so it's pretty select company. You know, when we talk about the shortstop position, there's so many young shortstops at that minor league level that have the chance to really be exciting. Give us an idea of, of who you took, and I understand you had to put one of those exciting shortstops to the DH spot just to make room. Well, we needed we needed to put both of these guys on our first team, and the guy we moved to DH is actually our hitting prospect of the year, and that's Gunnar Henderson uh, of the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, and it was a, it was an interesting conversation between he and Ellie De La Cruz. But I think you know Gunnar Henderson got the edge slightly because of the plate discipline. Uh, he, he's actually less than a, a year older than Ellie De La Cruz, who's super young. We've seen what Gunnar Henderson can do in the big leagues. He's impacting the game up there, but went from double to triple A to to the big leagues at a young age. The biggest thing, other than that flow that we see right there <laughs> uh, for Gunnar Henderson, is the fact that he really improved his plate discipline. That was what he needed to address last year. He did that this year. He drew a ton of walks. Uh, but Ellie De La Cruz is not somebody to sleep on at all. He is a switch hitting beast. He's six foot five. Ooh. He finished two homers shy of a 30 40 season. He had 40 plus steals. Uh, I don't know if he ends up playing shortstop long term, but I also said that about O'Neill Cruz for years and years, and here he is playing shortstop in the big leagues. He wants to play shortstop in the big leagues. Maybe he plays third. Maybe he plays the outfield. The bat is going to play. He needs to work on his plate discipline just a little bit, but he's only 20 years old, and he made it to double A this year. Man, and he is six foot five. Him and O'Neill Cruz, that's that's quite a, uh, that's quite a front, front court, court yeah. uh, in the NBA. Uh, and there was a couple of other, there were a couple of other big bats on this roster that stood out to you. Who are they? Yeah, I mean, it, it was a very, very good year for for offensive prospects. But I think the one other guy who really needs to be mentioned is Corbin Carroll, uh, the Diamondbacks. Another guy we saw in, in the big leagues. And uh, the, the amazing thing with Corbin Carroll is that he basically missed two years of baseball because of the pandemic, and then he, you know, and then injury. Uh, so we didn't know what to expect from him, and he made it all the way up to the big leagues this year. He's a plus hitter, at least. The power is, is legitimate. He can run as well. All these guys put up really, really good power-speed combinations. Uh, and he is another guy like Gunnar Henderson who showed that is going to play uh, at the big league level. So we're, we're talking across three levels, putting up those kinds of numbers, another 20, 20, 20, 30 in terms of Corbin Carroll. So he went from, well, we know he's good. He was a first round pick. We don't know how the injury is going to impact him to, oh wait, he's a big leaguer. He's gonna graduate off of our prospect list early next year. Well, Jonathan, I know the uh, regular season is coming to an end, but you and your staff are still working hard as you take a look at the first team According to MLB Pipeline, the prospect team of the year. You can read more about it right now on MLB.com. Arizona Fall League is already underway. Arizona Fall League All-Star Game also early next month, so it doesn't stop. Jonathan, we appreciate the time. Thanks. Thank you.